Back in 1996, the world was introduced to Pokemon Red and Blue, a world of digital monsters and a fantasy world inhibited by Pokemon trainers and Pokemon alike. The game's popularity was unheard of and pretty soon Pokemon had taken over the gaming world. With 151 characters to be caught and a strategic game of building up, battling and competition, the game was popular with all ages across the world. Over the years, more Pokemon were created and added to the already extensive rota, and games with better, faster and more immersive gameplay were appearing thick and fast, in trend with the latest handheld games consoles, and Nintendo were one of the biggest games console companies in the world. However, with that said, time took its toll on Nintendo's Pokemon franchise, and popularity and desirability dropped, as rival companies were able to create better games with incredible graphics and much more immersive gameplay, and Nintendo slowly got pushed to the back of a queue. That was until July of 2016, when the world was taken over once again by Pokemon. The revolutionary Pokemon Go app was released to the world offering actual live gameplay to the masses. The app allows you to use your phone to walk through your real life world and catch Pokemon in augmented reality. Within hours they hit millions and millions of downloads, and overnight Nintendo were put not just back in the lineup of its competitors, but miles ahead of them all. You don't have to look far outside to see the masses of people playing the game, visiting Pokestops to obtain items, catching Pokemon, battling gym leaders and above all else, socialising with other people. Pokemon Go has become the game to play across the world. It opens the door to a new world and offers people the chance to become active in the real world and has created new social friendships that would never have originally existed. Which is all well and good, but what if you can't get out to play the game? What if you have a disability, inability or an anxiety issue that stops you from being able to go out and explore the area to catch Pokemon? Well now, you can get Pokemon Go on your PC and we're going to show you exactly how to download and install it. And then we'll show you how to explore the world from the comfort of your very own home so you don't have to miss out. First of all, we need to download the Android software for your PC. I am referring this to Windows version, for Apple versions I will cover that at a later date. Again, there are multiple Android versions to download. But from my experience, Nox is the best one as it is fast, reliable, up to date and the most stable. So with that said, we simply go into Google and search for Nox App Player. The first option should come up with this page here. Simply click this and it will take you to the home page. Here you can download the software and it will install the Android Player onto your system. Please note however that we are wanting to install Pokemon Go and this download here is unable to get the Pokemon Go app from the marketplace. So what we need to do is look for the bouncing Pikachu to the right of a page right here. Click on this and it takes you to the Pokemon Go page. Click on try out Pokemon Go for PC and it will start downloading the software. Once it has downloaded, simply click next on each tab until it's finished. Once that is complete, we need to open the Nox app and go straight to settings and under general you need to click root on. Then going down to advanced we then check the performance settings onto high and then save these changes. At this point you should be asked to restart the app, which you need to do. Once that is done and the app has restarted, you need to activate your Google account. You can do this by going onto the Play Store and adding your existing account or creating a new one. Once that is finished, you search for Google Maps and install. Then look for an app named Lockito and install that too. Now is the part where we have to download an app called Exposed Installer on the Nox app itself. Simply go over to the browser and copy the link into the address bar and hit enter and it will start downloading. Don't worry I'll put the link in the description below alongside a step by step guide. Once that is installed, you need to open the app you have just downloaded and click on Framework, and then install an update. Let it do what it needs to do, and when it says it needs to reboot, ignore this, and click on Soft Reboot. We then open the exposed installer again, go into the framework and make sure everything is installed, and then come back off it. Now go to Download and search for Mock Mock Locations. Once it comes up, swipe right to install. 
Now we need to go back into the installer again and find modules. Make sure the box to the right of mock mock locations is ticked and then reboot Android using these tabs here. When it's all rebooted and back on, click on the installer once again and find modules and this time click the mock mock locations and then disable the tick next to all apps. Once that's done, we need to then add an app and look through the list until we find Pokemon Go and then go back to the home screen. Now we go into settings, scroll down to about tablet and then click the build number tab over and over until it says you are now a developer. Go back into the settings and you'll see a developer options tab. Click that and then tick allow mock locations and that is it on the settings and install part. Now we have a working Pokemon Go app on your PC. However, you will notice that you are unable to move as your computer cannot physically move around with you and lacks the GPS needed that would enable you to walk around as you do on your mobile. So we need to do something called spoofing. Please remember however that even though this is not illegal, it is not an ideal method and can cause you to get a ban from Nintendo if you abuse the method. So be warned that this is something that may happen but I am purely showing you a way of doing it. So with that said, let's move on to business. At the right hand side of the emulator screen, you will see some tabs. Going down the window, you need to click on the one saying virtual location. What you are then greeted with is this page with a map on it. If you want to do it more realistically, you can type in your home coordinates or address and then click geocode and OK. And then you're ready to go and finally enjoy using Pokemon Go from the comfort of your own home without ever having to move your legs. You can move around by using WASD on your keyboard and walk around to find Pokemon and catch them, checking out Pokestops and fighting gym battles. Of course with the Spoof Location app you can choose anywhere in the world, but you will need to be careful how you do this. Try not to change locations too often, don't do it during the game to change positions, and also don't use it to cheat as it's only going to look suspicious to Nintendo's servers and can result in you getting a ban. Again we are not doing this to cheat the system, we are doing this so that you can enjoy this from your home. So that pretty much wraps it up, you now have Pokemon Go set up on your PC for you to use any time. Please play responsibly and respect Niantic's gameplay rules to thoroughly enjoy the experience. This is like I mentioned earlier perfect for those of you that physically cannot go out and explore the world of Pokemon, be it through a disability or any other means. It can help you to enjoy the game like millions of other people all over the world are doing. So for more videos and content remember to click subscribe and don't forget to give us a like and until next time, goodbye!